Okay, we just got the the new Lee Six Pack Pro. I think they call it six thousand. This is what they call a factory second. I paid a, a pretty good price from Lee for an R and D press. Thanks. Uh, I mean, I did have to pay like half, but thanks to Lee for making this arrangement with me. Let's open it up and see how it looks, and then we'll uh, mount it and put some dies and maybe reload a few a uh, few rounds. Let's go for it. Okay, welcome back. This reminds me of Dylan with all these packing clips that are a pain in the you know what to remove. So you open the box like so, remove this empty piece of cardboard, there's nothing there. And this is what you see the press. The powder masher, bin, uh, case tubes, and the powder masher assembly. Okay, so let's take out the tubes, let's put them on the side. It uses the Lee Auto Drum powder masher. And guys, I'm pretty familiar with Lee. Uh, about 10, 12 years ago, I started reloading, and uh, this is this is how that looks. And this is the new and improved uh, hopper. Uh, it used to be a little, a little different with the lid on top. So, so that's that. Let's look at the acro bin. Came with this. I'm assuming this could be some sort of adjusting, adjusting nut. This is the assembly for the uh, case feeder. And this is the actual drum for the powder measure. And uh, the primer uh, hopper thingy majigum. Next is a set of dies. I got the 44 Magnum and Special. And this is what I'll be re reloading. Now, mostly I do my reloading on a Dillon 550C uh, for my generic calibers like 44, uh, 9 mil, uh, non-major, uh, 30, 30, 30.6, 6, 7, 6, 2 by 39. But I wanted to, to try this press and see see how that feels. I may or may not keep it, uh, may give it away or, you know, we'll see. But this is the, uh, the dies and we'll continue uh, with the unpacking. And I think guys, lastly, what we have is press and I don't know about you but this is pretty pretty hefty okay so I mean it's uh it's got a heft Let's see if I can close it up give you a close-up without it being mounted uh, luckily <laughs> I was concerned that it wouldn't come with the uh, shell plate but it did this shell plate 11 and it has six stations, so you're gonna make sure that you don't get the uh, the one for a different press, like the Lee Pro 1000, which only has three. So you can see the difference here in shelf plates and stuff. Okay, so linkages. I mean, everything here is steel. There's a few parts that are aluminum, but uh, look at the primer. Uh, assembly here well, let me see if I can yeah so I think it goes like so that's how it's mounted and uh, let me go ahead and see what I can do about this uh, so at this point I'm wondering um, that the best option to mount the press and to elevate it a bit is to use some two by fours. So uh, I just got some screws and some washers and you know, just proceeded to install the press. 
later uh, much later on I realized that the two inch screws <laughs> that I was using were not long enough uh, to grasp both uh, planks so I ended up just having to uh, screw it to one so I'm gonna leave you here um, with a fast pace uh, introduction to So the instructions don't really tell you how to install the case feeder. I've done it before, but I didn't quite remember. So I had to, you know, finagle with it until I figured it out. But this is kind of how the press came out. I'm using the uh, four dies, decapping, powder, seat, and crimp. And here is, um, I used uh, the, uh, the hopper, the case hopper from the Lee app. And I, install it on this one so this is kind of a close-up of how everything looks this is the primer assembly uh, they just fall down this chute and they're caught by this uh, curved bracket um, and there is a, a spring that goes from if you look under the the top of the press there's a there's a hook that connects to the uh, primer assembly and it's a pretty firm spring which of course as I was adjusting uh, something else I broke so I could still reload but I had to feed the primers manually until that spring uh, comes in the mail but yeah 
this is how uh, it's looking. Next thing I'm going to be adjusting the dies and continue with the die adjustment. So this is the first uh, completed round and I'm uh, uh, going for the overall length of 1.5 inches and this is 1.613 so it's a little little over uh, I need to definitely seat the bullet a little deeper and after I work on the uh, depth of the bullet I uh, go ahead and play with the uh, factory crimp. So now uh, over here we have the first completed round. I went ahead and I adjusted the bullet seat and the crimp. As you can see the plunk test on the barrel of my 44 mag uh, revolver. Uh, you know it's, it's a perfect plunk. Uh, you can hear the thump. And here I'm grabbing a couple of more cases um, and putting them down the, uh, the chute and the tubes. Um, and yeah, I'm trying to, to run it through the press and complete uh, the process. So I sized it and decapped. And then uh, I want to have for the powder. And let me see what I'm trying to do here. Um, I had to feed the primers manually, like I mentioned earlier, because I broke the, that spring. Um, but after I, I seeded the primer, I went ahead and got the, uh, I think I'm doing 11.2 grains of 2400. I'm looking to see, make sure that there's powder, since I don't have a powder check here. And I installed, I think it's a 240 XTP Hornady bullet. And I seed it, and then I go ahead and I crimp it. And there's two empty stations here that you know, they, they probably will remain uh, empty. I'm not sure if I'm keeping the press. And yeah, here I do another uh, another completed round and I do another plunk plunk test in the, uh, in the cylinder. And yeah, I wish you could hear it. It makes a perfect sound. So that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you.